number one question I get. Why do I need Palantir Foundry and AIP if I already have a modern lake house or cloud data warehouse architecture? So let's actually decompose what is the lake house architecture to dive a little bit deeper and show how this fits across the ecosystem. So you think about cloud lake house architecture, bronze, silver, gold. In my bronze zone, I ingest data from a bunch of different sources, uh, batch, micro batch, CDC, maybe some streams coming into there. It's raw, it's unfettered from all these different places. Then I use different transformation technologies and DAGs to orchestrate and enrich it, harmonize it, clean it up into my silver zone, register the catalog along the way. And then I, will, I need to be able to model it into like a dimensional data warehouse so that all these BI tools will work so I can create reports on top of there, right? And then the day, maybe I also have a data science team that can build some forecast models for me, other things that I integrate into my report. Maybe I even have an enterprise service bus that allows for integrations. But again, this standard architecture I see as step one. That's great. You've brought the data together. But that's not the end goal. The end goal is to take actions that are meaningful. So what is different about what we're doing in Palantir? We can do all we're talking about in a first class way. But if you've already done it, you can just register those virtual tables in the platform and then extend it, take it further, operationalize those things. So we talk about that, the ontology. The ontology is made up of the data. So you think about the data in that gold zone, the data, the logic. So if you've got systems of logic across your business, optimizers, machine learning models, things you've bought third party, you can register those as part of the ontology and also the actions. So those are all the things to be able to make a decision and make it real. That is the difference. The ontology, the goal is to actually model how your business actually operates, not into a system language so that these different BI tools can work on it. So now that we can have a actual model about how your business is operating with the data, the logic and the actions, then you bring in Gen AI and this is the accelerator. This is how we start to move faster through AI workflows. AI and humans working together in this orchestration with the ontology grounding the truth of what's really happening. So the goal is different. When we talk about operationalizing, it means if you're on the factory floor, you're out in the field, or you're in the boardroom, how do I make the best decision for this point in time right now for me, but also as a global enterprise, how do I do that? And that's where the ontology allows you to, to model things forward and backward, place simulations out. All of this stuff is the next level goal beyond just a report in your cloud lighthouse. All of this means that if you have a modern lake house architecture, that's great. Now you can actually accelerate and move even quicker, integrating AI across your workflows, your existing applications, across your whole business. It's really about yes and.